Hello and welcome to Restart. So what we're going to do today is take you a little walk through our base at Daviddale, Daviddale House in the east end of the city over at Brigton. So the idea behind this is just to give you a wee flavour of what to expect when you are coming back to your courses at Restart, just to lay out the building, how things have changed a little. So let's start by walking through here. So you'll notice right away on the floor, we've got some tape down, social distancing tape. And these are just kind of in place just to kind of enable us to, to kind of move freely through the, through the building. When you come through, you'll see here, into the right, we are going to have a sanitising area. So this is what you will do now. You'll come in here and leave your coats, jackets, any personal belongings will be left in the chair. And then you'll just come back and get them again at the end of your session. So you'll sanitise your hands um, and then head through to the reception area where the receptionist will sign you in for today. So you'll notice again, we've got some markings on the floor. We've got a screen up at the reception area there as well. So you come in, give your name and our volunteer will take your details. So going back through. So this area that we're going to take you into at the moment is our catering area. So we're going to meet a couple of staff through here, just show you the layout of it. So again, you'll notice that some things have changed. So we've got Jamie here. Hello there. Okay. And we have Naomi here. So again, you'll notice right away that the layout, we've got some markings on the floor here just to keep everybody safe and distance while they're attending the catering area. And I'm going to go to Naomi. And Naomi's just going to say a little bit about what she's involved with at Restart and again any changes that um, you need to know about. So it's all yours, Naomi. Over to me. Hi everyone, my name's Naomi. Um, I'm one of the BGCs here at Restart. Um, that stands for Vocational Guidance Counselor. And um, there's three of us throughout the project. Um, you'll meet my colleague Kate in a little minute. Um, depending when you start at Restart, depending on what training area or group you choose to do, you'll be allocated to one of us. Um, and our role during your time at the project is really to give you a wee bit of additional support, um, whether that's to do with finances, um, volunteering, local resources that you would like to get involved in. Um, we meet with, with you one-to-one -one regularly and we'll just be looking at what, what your goals are and giving you a wee bit of support to try and identify them and help to work towards them, whether it's sort of short or smaller term goals or something longer term, like maybe going back to work, going to college or university. Um, I'm going to tell you a wee bit about some of the groups that I'm involved with now. My main um, group is the Health and Wellbeing Group. Now that's split into three sort of different sessions, if you like, throughout the week. Um, the first one is a health walk. This takes place once a week. Um, and what we do is we usually go out into the local area, round to Glasgow Green, and we just have a nice, a nice walk. It usually lasts between an hour and an hour and a half. Um, it's a very nice, relaxed group, and it's a nice atmosphere to kind of get to know new people and do a wee bit of socialising. And um, that's on a Thursday morning during the week. On the Thursday afternoon, we have a sort of more higher intensity sort of sport and activity session. Um, this programme is a, it's a sort of set 12 week programme, um, and all the activities in it have been chosen by the people who have been attending the group. So we go and try different things, like we'll try football, tennis, cycling, badminton, um, we even had a go at golf and foot golf um, one time. So if there is something that you would like to try, within reason, we're usually quite accommodating about you including it in the group programme. Um, the third part of the sort of health and wellbeing um, programme is healthy cooking sessions, which at the moment are being held up in our fair hill base, but there'll, there'll be a similar set up to the stations that you've seen down here. Um, it's a two hour session each week and it runs for six weeks. And it's basically aimed at helping people cook healthy meals with fresh ingredients from scratch. Um, the hope of the group is that obviously it's teaching new skills that you'll hopefully carry in to your own house and start maybe trying to do a wee bit of cooking. Um, the final group that I'm sort of involved in is the Branching Out group. Now this is a 12 week programme that we run usually once a year and it's in partnership with Forestry Scotland and the Conservation Volunteers. It's held um, outdoors, all of it's outdoors, and it's in a local woodland. It includes activities like uh, willow weaving, environmental art, tree ID, and lots of different sort of wee conservation tasks around the site that we're in. Um, 
doing these conservation tasks allows, allows anyone that's taking part in the group to achieve their John Muir Discovery Award, which is a, an internationally recognised conservation award. Um, and also at the end of the group, there's going to be opportunities if somebody was very interested in it and wanted to continue with it, there's opportunities for people to get into volunteering in that area. So I think that's me finished my wee spiel. I'll hand you back to Liz and she can take you. No problem. Thanks for that, Naomi. <laughs> Thank you. So again, within this area, we have the, the kind of catering area. So Jamie is the creator of all things cooking uh, here for us at Restart. So, Jamie's just going to tell us a wee bit about what to expect, you know, what type of activity you'd be doing within the catering department. Um, so I'll hand it over to you, Jamie, okay? Hi, thanks, Liz. Uh, my name's Jamie and I'm the catering instructor here. At Restart, a warm welcome back to everybody. And uh, just a brief introduction to what will be happening. I'll be facilitating the catering within Restart and uh, we'll be doing two sessions, one in the morning starting at 9.30am. 11.30am, then we'll have a total clean down and we'll be set, resetting up for the afternoon session which will be between 1 and 3pm and the same again, clean down, get everything ready for the people coming in behind you. Uh, we'll be covering a whole range of recipes and I'll be supplying you with recipes, PPE, all your equipment you're going to need. Everybody will have their own workstation, they'll be working from that, they'll have their cooker, they'll have all the utensils and everything to keep themselves safe and they will be, you know, it'll be a new experience for us all and they we're just trying to make sure that everybody that comes to Restart is learning something useful and helping them with the, the life skills and the, basically how to cook, how to do the basic stuff, all the preparation how to work hygienically and how to just, you know, work as part of a group as well. And uh, it's getting you out of the house and it's getting you involved in something positive and uh, uplifting because cooking is a good life skill to have and you can transfer that at, in your own home or wherever. Um, we'll just be, so I try to make everybody feel as welcome and comfortable as possible. And I'm sure you'll enjoy coming along to restart. It's a, it's a good project, and you'll get to meet other people who are like minded. Uh, I'd just like to put, put you back to, to Liz there, Liz. Thanks for that, Jamie. Thank you. Just kind of want to draw your attention quickly just to the wee sign that we've got here. It was. That'd be Jamie, yeah? Oh, yes. Yep. So, again, yeah. Restart, welcome back yep. to the project, and hope you are all well. Thanks. Yep. Thanks, Jamie. So, yeah, so as I say, we're all really looking forward to seeing you all coming back. So what I'll do now is take you through to the other training area where we're going to have a look at the IT area. So if we go through here. So as I say, we've got the reception area now here where we've got the, the panel up. People who are coming to any course at Restart would come here and be signed in. Again, we've got sanitizer stations and everything set up around the, the work area here. Um, in IT. So this is our IT area here. So just to look, give you a wee flavour of how we've set things up. So at each of these stations at the moment, so to obviously comply with social distancing, there'll be two people at each of these stations. So there'll be a station here, we'll have a station over here, and we have the station here. So again, we've got sanitizer, wipes, everything um, just at the stations that you'll need to safely work. Also around the reception area, so just to kind of let you see that there as well, we've got the markings so that we've got a good area there for people um, to kind of work in. In terms of IT itself, so we'll be doing probably, you'll, you'll have heard this phrase, blended learning. Um, so what we're going to be doing is obviously still try to make the training unique to everyone on an individual basis. But what we'll be doing is um, probably a lot more instructor-led training within IT. So we have the big screen up, um, we'll have a laptop, and hopefully we'll do a wee bit more like kind of group work type sessions within the area as well. So this just kind of, as I say, lets you see the, the kind of area, how it looks, types of stuff that you'll be able to do. Again, it'll be, you know, do you want to learn how to use the internet? Do you want to learn how to use social media? 
all the kind of basic IT skills that you would want if kind of using in your your day to day lives. Um, we can look at smartphones. We can look at, you know, things like that as well. Also in this area, we will be doing the walking photography group. So on the Friday morning here, we do a theory session on that, and the folk that are attending the photography group will come in here and we'll do a wee bit of editing on the pictures and, um, you know, kind of use that as part of the course here as well. So just as I say let you just give you a wee idea of how everything's laid out. So we're going to go over now and meet our next member of staff. So this is Kate. So I'm just going to get a wee sit down for a minute. So what Kate's going to do is just tell you a wee bit about um, her role at We Start and also the groups that, that she's involved with here um, as well. Okay, so I'll hand it over to yourself, Kate. Hi, yeah. Um, I do the same role as Naomi as a vocational guidance counsellor. And um, some of the groups we're involved in, we'll look at a music group on here on a Monday. Then it's a morning session and an afternoon session. In the morning session, it's more for beginners. So if you wanted to learn to play the guitar, it's a really supportive environment to do that. And in the afternoon, it's for people who are a bit more experienced, where they'll come together, play their instruments, do a bit of singing. I think they call it jamming. Um, they have actually they've done a couple of gigs outside, which has been great for everybody's confidence. The beginners will be involved in that as well. So that group's facilitated by a volunteer and a college lecturer. So um, you'd actually be signed up for the college for that one as well and you can get a college card. The other group, and um, oh sorry, the music group is also on on a Tuesday afternoon up in Mary Hill. So on a Wednesday we've got an art group here again, um, morning and afternoon. So we have varied activities, you could use oil paint, acrylics, drawing, sketching, um, it's quite a therapeutic group where people can come together, feel safe, relax and just mix with others. So that's a Wednesday. On a Thursday morning, they run a family history group and that's where we can show you what resources um, to get started, what you would need to use, um, how to trace back your ancestors and to start to build your family tree. Um, it's quite a small group. Um, but they do work well together and every so often they'll go out and visit the Mitchell Library and use the resources up there as well. On a Friday afternoon, eh, we've got a group, Right to Recovery. Um, again, it's quite a therapeutic group. Um, a right to Recovery is an initiative um, that was developed by the Scottish Recovery Network and they have trained our volunteer in facilitation, so she leads the group. Again, a very, very supportive group that people seem to get an awful lot about. So that will be good on a Friday afternoon. So that's all the groups that I'm involved in. And um, that's it. <laughs> that's great. Thanks very much, Kate. Thanks for that. So hopefully this has given you a wee overview of things, how they are at the moment at Broad Street. Um, as I say, we're really looking forward to, to welcoming everybody back. And if you have any other questions or anything you want to ask about the area, then again, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Okay, thanks.